Taylor Fritz has already made millions with his tennis career, but what might double and triple that fortune might be his business investments off of the court. First, let's take a look at how Fritz got started in his tennis journey. Number 8. Taylor Fritz's Early Life Taylor Fritz was born on October 28, 1997 in Rancho Santa Fe in the county of San Diego, California. He comes from a family of athletes. His mom, Kathy May, is a former top 10 player and his dad, Guy Henry Fritz, also played professional tennis and was named U.S. Olympic Development Coach of the Year in 2016. So you could say that Fritz and his two maternal half-brothers, Chris and Kyle, had the genetics Park locked down from the birth to be athletes. Fritz also has a very unique great-great-grandfather, David May. May is the founder of the May Department Store Company, which later merged with the world's famous Macy's. So it seems like Fritz had a couple of options in life. Either become a business owner like his great-great-grandfather or pursue his passion for tennis. And thankfully, as tennis fans, he went for the latter. Number 7. How He Started Tennis Fritz essentially started playing tennis from birth. His parents have said that he had a tennis racket in his hand by the time he was two years old. We imagine the racket itself was as tall as Fritz. And growing up, he idolized the likes of Juan Martin Del Potro and Pete Sampras, and even named Sampras and Andre Agassi as his dream opponents. So he definitely didn't lack any confidence. He attended Torrey Pines High School where he won the CIF singles title in the San Diego section as a freshman. And just a few months into his sophomore year, he switched to an online high school to play full-time ITF Junior events. He won his first grade-A tournament at the 2014 Osaka Mayor's Cup. In 2015, Fritz reached at least the quarterfinal of all four Junior Grand Slam tournaments, including the final at the French Open where he lost to Tommy Paul, and the final at the US Open where he got his revenge on Paul by defeating him. He finished the year as the number one ranked boys junior tennis player and was named the 2015 ITF Junior World Champion. He was the first American to hold this title since Donald Young in 2005 and Andy Roddick in 2000. After which, he turned his attention to the pro scene. Number 6. Career Accomplishments In September of 2015, Fritz turned pro after winning the Junior U.S. Open. He rose from the 600s into the top 250 of the ATP rankings by becoming the ninth player at age 17 to win multiple Challenger Tour titles. Others who have accomplished this feat include Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic, so right away, Fritz must have felt as he made the right decision by pursuing tennis, as he was already accomplishing legendary things. Fritz was awarded a wild card into his first ATP 250 tournament of 2016 and beat the second seeded Steve Johnson, who at number 29 was the highest ranked player that Fritz had ever defeated. With a win over Ricardus Baronquis in the semifinal, Fritz became the youngest American to reach an ATP final since Michael Chang in 1988 and the second fastest American ever to reach an ATP final, doing so in just his third career ATP tournament. To cap off 2016, Fritz won the ATP. ATP Star of Tomorrow for being the youngest player in the top 100 having just turned 19. Fritz kicked off the 2018 clay court season with semifinals appearance at the U.S. Men's Clay Court Championships, the best result on clay of his career thus far. At the U.S. Open, Fritz reached his first Grand Slam third round and ended that year by reaching a career-high ranking of world number 47. Fritz reached his first ATP 500 final in 2020 where he lost to Rafael Nadal. However, he earned a new career-high ranking of world number 24. In 2022, Fritz became the first American to reach the final at the Indian Wells Masters since John Eisner in 2012, and this was a momentous occasion as Fritz grew up just a few hours from the Indian Wells Tennis Garden. His family would often attend matches there, and Taylor's dad even told him that one day he would win that title. In order to win the title, he defeated four-seed three-time champion Rafael Nadal, and in the final in straight sets, Fritz claimed his first Masters 1000 title. His second career ATP title overall and snapped Nadal's 20 match win streak. It marked the first time an American man had won the Indian Wells title since Andre Agassi in 2001. For Fritz, it must have felt amazing to achieve the same feat as one of his idols. Fritz finished the year ranked inside the top 10 for the first time in his career at world number 9. In 2023, Fritz reached the semifinals of the Masters in Monte Carlo and became the first American in 20 years to reach the semifinals at this Masters since Vince Spadia. He won his sixth title at the 2023 Atlanta Open, defeating Alexander Vukic. 
All of these legendary accomplishments also meant that Fritz had been racking up some nice checks throughout his tennis journey. Number 5. Career Earnings Fritz has had a long and prosperous career already, and he's just hitting his prime. In his very first year as a pro, he earned nearly $50,000, and a year later in 2016, he upped that amount to almost half a million. You don't see those types of jumps in most professions. He followed that up with a $380,000 year and then an $800,000 year, so right away, Fritz was earning life-changing money. In 2019, he made his first million-dollar year before dipping back down to a near $900,000 year in 2020, but he was back to his million-dollar earnings in 2021, which he tripled in 2022, earning a cool $3.3 million. And this isn't even accounting for his doubles matches and his incredible sponsorship deals. Number 4. Endorsement Fritz has collaborated with the biggest and most popular brands in the world. This includes Nike, which was his apparel sponsor for a long time. While his racket was sponsored by Head Graphene 360 Radical MP. He also dabbled with a few sponsorships outside of the sports world, and this includes being an ambassador position at Rolex. As for his nutrition needs, he is sponsored by Optimum Nutrition and Water Drop, and we are sure that these deals are quite lucrative and worth Fritz's time as he continued to climb up the tennis rankings and make history time and time again. Not only has his incredible play attracted some of the biggest brands in the world, but it has also amassed him a big following which he used to help those in need. Number 3. Social Media Fritz has nearly 500,000 followers on Instagram. His platform is filled with pictures and clips of his gameplay, along with a few behind-the-scenes things. There are also the occasional magazine cover features, as Fritz does his best modeling poses. Most importantly, Fritz hasn't taken his fame and following for granted. He uses it to spread positivity and help those in need. Back in 2020, Fritz competed in a Mario Tennis tourney alongside influencer Addison Rae as part of the stay-at-home slam. The two of them ended Ended up winning the championship, along with it the million dollar prize which they donated to the No Kid Hungry charity. Perhaps the reason why Fritz chose to play for the No Kid Hungry charity is because he has a son of his own and could empathize at a deeper level. Number 2. Personal Life Fritz married longtime girlfriend Raquel Pedraza while still a teenager in July of 2016. Raquel Pedraza is also a professional tennis player, so the two had a lot in common. A year later, in January of 2017, the two of them announced the birth of their first child, a son named Jordan. However, the couple called it quits and have taken on the co-parenting role as they raise their son. Since then, Fritz has been linked to a social media influencer, Morgan Riddle. Riddle has more than 392,000 followers on TikTok and nearly 200,000 followers on Instagram. When Fritz isn't on daddy duties or spending time with his partner, he likes to play eSports, in particular FIFA. Not only has Fritz gotten to compete with gaming stars Ninja, but last offseason he invested in Wrecked Global, an esports business which is said to have earned him an endorsement of $500,000. So even with his hobbies, Fritz is making life changing money. Number 1. His Net Worth In terms of his net worth, there are quite a few things to consider. First and foremost, it is his career earnings. All in all, Fritz has made nearly $12 million throughout his tennis career. Then there are the multiple sponsorships, which include some of the biggest brands in the world. And of course, we have to mention his business ventures such as the eSports investment. The latter might end up making him more money than his tennis career. Taken all together, we would estimate that his net worth is somewhere around the $8 million mark. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell beside it so that you're notified the next time we upload a new video. And with that being said, you just watched us break down Taylor Fritz's amazing story and lifestyle. See you next time.